Hello, welcome to the periodic table of acquisition innovations. Here, you will learn how to navigate current functionalities in the periodic table, and as additional capabilities are rolled out, we will create additional tutorials. This site is a knowledge management portal created with the goal of continually collecting and sharing information about innovative business practices and technologies already tested by acquisition teams. The intended primary users are acquisition professionals to include contracting officers and specialists, program managers and contracting officer representatives, and procurement analysts. We also encourage members of the integrated project teams and other acquisition stakeholders, such as small business representatives and industry liaisons, to refer to the materials on the portal. This portal allows our diverse acquisition community to interact more effectively with each other, as well as prospective contractors. The site showcases practices to promote the adoption and adaptation of innovative acquisition techniques and automations. Most of the techniques in the periodic table use authorities already found in the Federal Acquisition Regulation, the FAR. The description for each practice will specify its inherent authority or supporting litigation case, if applicable. The acquisition automations in the periodic table use innovative technologies such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, natural language processing, and robotic process automation to reduce human intervention in processes or improve decision making. Users report the innovative acquisition techniques and automations on the site have helped shorten the time to award, result in better mission outcomes, increased cost savings and customer satisfaction, decreased errors, and reduced barriers to entry. You can access the periodic table of acquisition innovations from your desktop or mobile device. Go to FAI.gov and either click on the Tools tab from the top navigation menu or enter periodic table in the search box. You can also simply type into your search bar FAI.gov forward slash periodic hyphen table. Here are some of the best ways to use this tool. The periodic table has two tabs acquisition techniques and acquisition automations. You can toggle between them using the acquisition techniques acquisition automations toggle that is located on the left of the page beneath the search box. Acquisition techniques are organized by acquisition phases with the exception of alternative authorities. It stands on its own here to the left. The techniques within each of the phases are featured on the cards and listed in alphabetical order. Each phase has a distinct color which extends to the innovative techniques found on the cards within that phase. Hover over a column header and you can see a brief summary of the type of techniques in the column. Hover over a card and you can see a brief summary of the innovative technique. On the right hand side of the page, there is an icon and a filter function where you can select the small business filter to narrow the results displayed. Uncheck the small business filter and click go to display the full set of innovative techniques. The new label indicates a recent addition to the site. The coming soon label indicates that new material will soon be added to the site. If you click on a technique, you will see a pop-up window open where you learn more about that innovation. Each innovation identifies the phase it belongs to, the respective filter icons, and if it uses FAR or non-FAR authorities. The innovation is then defined with a description, problem solved, benefits of use, and use case and documentation. The use case and documentation section is really what drives knowledge sharing through this portal. Real, proven samples, solicitations, and additional content provide the information you need to try out an innovation on your own. Lastly, other strategies related to that innovation are shown. At the bottom of the pop-up, there are left and right arrows which take you to the previous or next innovation in sequential order. The title of the innovation technique is displayed at the top of the drop-down menu. You can click on the drop-down arrow to access other innovations. Immediately below the selected innovation technique, click on the I use this button to indicate if you have experimented with the innovation. This feature is a step in creating a community of collaborators, so we ask you share your experience using the technique in the pop-up text box. After you click on submit, a thank you message will appear. Note, you can only submit a single response for each innovation technique. Back on the landing page, you can click on Submit Innovation, located in the top right corner. This allows you to either submit a new innovation not currently found on the site or recommend updates to an existing innovation. After you submit the form, your idea goes through a review and approval process while it's under consideration to be published on the site. Located on the top right corner is the feedback form. Click on the feedback link to submit your feedback about the site. Your reactions of the site are monitored and will be acted upon to improve the usability and functionality of the site. Our focus is to maximize user satisfaction and we welcome your feedback on functionality, content, and usefulness. 
click the toggle to view information about acquisition automations. Similar to the user experience for acquisition techniques, acquisition automations are organized by acquisition phases with the exception of cultural adaptation journey. It stands on its own here to the left. The automations within each of the phases are featured on cards with titles that correspond to that acquisition process, activity, or task that they support. The cards are listed in alphabetical order. Each phase has a distinct color which extends to the innovative automation tools within that phase. Hover over a column header and you can see a brief summary of the types of automation tools in the column. Hover over a card and you can see a brief summary of the acquisition process, activity, or task that the automations on that card support. On the right-hand side of the page, there are icons and a filter function where you can select one or more of the filters to narrow the results displayed based on whether exportable code is available for agencies to use, there is a partnering opportunity available for other federal agencies, or the card contains automations that are not yet in production but are considered planned projects. Uncheck all of the filters and click Go to display the full set of acquisition automations. The new label indicates a recent addition to the site. The Coming Soon label indicates that new material will soon be added to the site. If you click on a journey card, you will see a pop-up window open where you can learn more about how to address cultural considerations as you develop and implement acquisition automations. Each card represents a phase of the cultural adaptation journey and includes the steps and milestones in the phase, agency examples implementing the steps and milestones, effective practices for addressing cultural impacts on the workforce, and artifacts. The Steps Milestone section is really what defines each journey. Real examples, practices, and artifacts provide the information you need to take your own journey. At the bottom of the card, there are left and right arrows which take you to the previous or the next journey or automation tool in sequential order. The title of the journey is displayed at the top of the drop-down menu. You can click on the drop-down arrow to access other journeys and automation tools. If you click on an acquisition automation card, you will see a pop-up window open where you can learn more about the acquisition process, activity, or task that the automations on the card support. Each card identifies the phase of the acquisition lifecycle it belongs to, followed by a description of the process, activity, or task that the automation featured on the card support. Then, you will see a problem solved and benefits of using automations featured under the use case and documentation. The use case and documentation section is really what drives knowledge sharing through this portal. Information about individual automation tools is found in this section. Click on the overview link to learn about the featured automation, including how it works, the benefits of using it, the availability of automation code, and how it may be obtained. Lastly, a point of contact is listed for each automation tool. Click on Supplemental Info Links for useful artifacts about the featured automation tool. The types of artifacts vary and may include procurement documentation, user guides, templates, and process or design workflows. At the bottom of the card, there are left and right arrows which take you to the previous or the next card in sequential order. The title of the automation card is displayed at the top of the drop-down menu. You can select the drop-down arrows to access other automation cards. The periodic table of acquisition innovations has a useful search feature. To access it, select the search button on the left side of the page, with or without entering a search term. The periodic table search page will appear. There are filters on the left side of the page that can be used to narrow the search results. Results can be filtered by card type, topical group, and tags. On the top right is a search box that can be searched based on text, a drop-down to control how results are sorted when displayed, and a drop-down to control what order the results are displayed. Clicking the Apply button will apply the selection from those controls to the search results. The search results will include cards that fit all of the filtering criteria. The search results show cards with the title of the acquisition technique or acquisition automation card, along with a summary and description for each one. At the bottom are tags that can be used to filter search results. To return to the periodic table of acquisition innovations, click on the Back to Periodic Table hyperlink at the top left-hand side of the page. Thank you for touring the Periodic Table of Acquisition Innovations. Click on the About button for a brief refresher on the purpose of this knowledge management portal. We encourage you to be innovative in your next acquisition. We welcome your contributions and encourage you to visit again soon to access new content.